Good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome to the Tune Review, uh, where this afternoon it is the penultimate show before deadline day, baby. <laughs> before, the, before the nightmare starts. Before it heats up for real. And, of course, news today already of Dan Byrne, £13 million agreement with Newcastle United. He is on his way for a medical. Uh, no announcement yet on what's happening with Connor Cody, but hey ho, life is shit sometimes, guys. Um, <laughs> no further news on Bruno announcement yet. Uh, Botman deal may still be going ahead, and of course, no news on a striker yet, uh, unless Barry's heard something from his HP, but I haven't heard anything. Um, no, nope. just a quick one, guys. If you do enjoy the show today, please do hit the like button, and if you're new to the channel, please do consider subscribing. Uh, you can also become a member of the Tune Review by hitting the join button, and you can also donate to the channel if you so wish by hitting the dollar sign at the bottom of the live comments, which we've already just had one in from CFC Florida, $10. Thank you very much. Right, Danielle, Dan Byrne. Buzzing. Absolutely delighted. Oh, yeah, man, she's absolutely buzzing, man. <laughs> can you not do that? Oh, Thanks. sorry. Um, yeah, no, I'm really over the moon. I think we need him. Um I think um, he'll be buzzing to get back, get back yeah. to his home where he belongs. Um, and hopefully we'll get a couple more over the line um, mm. before 11 o'clock tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, there's an interesting one there, by the way. Danny, uh, Danny van der Beek didn't want to be part of a relegation battle, but goes to Everton. Um, <laughs> we all thought he was going to Palace, didn't we? Because of the family mm. connections. Yeah, yeah. Well, apparently not. Yeah. Uh, Listen, I mean, Lampard will obviously have a bit more pull. He's, he's, he's well known um, mm. and, and people will want to play. Well, and Patrick Vieira. Yeah, listen, you know he's French. You know he might not want to go to play there. Yeah, but he's Dennis Bergkamp's there and he's he's going out with Dennis Bergkamp's daughter. Oh, look at you digging deep into the sex lives of footballers. <laughs> I'm right. Graceful, Baz. <laughs> might, I, 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 might know him better. Uh, Mr. Statman. Uh, I believe you've been doing some be worky workies on them. Between ba -ba 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 uh, ba -ba 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 clearly, Baz hasn't had enough sleep overnight, guys. <laughs> no. uh, no, clearly overtired over there. Crazy. Um, Both cup of coffee. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, Alex, uh, you've done some comparisons between Dan Byrne and Lascelles, I believe. I have. So when we when we first got linked with him, I just looked at him as an individual, but now now it's confirmed. I've started looking. Uh, his stats compared to probably the player he's going to replace in the team, which should be Lascelles. Yeah. Um, and it's it's night and day different. I know we were we were umming and ahhing about Burn as an improvement, but oh, it is it is a big improvement. Um, so the areas which Dan which um, Lascelles is good at, which isn't much, but he's good in the air. I know he made the mistake for that goal the other day, but generally he's good in the air. He wins his duels. Um, he's good at blocks and clearances. Um, and Dan Burns better than him at those. So Dan Burns better at the things that Lascelles is good at. Plus more, oh. he can pass the ball better than Lascelles can. He can carry the ball better than Lascelles can. Um, he's got pressures as well. So a lot of people complaining about his pace, uh, Dan Burns' pace. Mm -hmm. He does a lot of pressures and he's very, very mobile and quite active despite his height and speed. Um, and Lascelles, can I just say these... something on that? Right, being six foot yeah. five, right, myself. 
Okay, I know he's a bit taller. It doesn't mean you're slow. You know, us tall people would, have would, moves would, as well, you know. I would comparison you with Speedy, I mean, because I don't think mean, that's a good comparison. I'll tell you what, Baz, I'll tell you what. One day, we'll go to Billingham Ice Rink, right? Oh, and I will charge at you full power and see if you still say that after I've collided with you. On, on an ice rink? Anyone can move fast on an ice rink, mate. I'm talking about ground. No, uh, you can't move fast on an ice rink, Baz. Oh, I can't move on an ice rink at all. Well, there you go. So I'll collide <laughs> into you still if you see the same opinion, you ginger git. Now get on. Come on, Alex. <laughs> right, so import, important stats. Um, they're, they're both not great at passing, but Dan Byrne does do double the amount of passes per game. He completes more dribbles, more carries, um, more, many more tackles and interceptions. Lascelles, may I add, gets 0. 0.7 tackles per 90, which is in the bottom two percentile for centre backs in Europe's top five leagues, he is in the bottom two percent of professional athletes as a centre back. That is embarrassing. Well, slap um, me in the face with a koi carp. Who would have thought that? Jesus. I mean, yeah. Is that tackles and and interceptions? Because that's tackles on its own. For interceptions yeah. on its own, he's in the bottom thirteen percent. So that's not much better either, to be it's fair. Not- um, yeah, whereas Dan Burns in, in the top 85, he's in the 85th percentile for tackles and 86th percentile for interceptions. So he's in that top bracket. He's not elite, but he's he's good for the Premier League. He's putting yeah. up much better numbers than people give him credit for, mm-hmm. which is why he's been linked and why Brighton have had a good season so far. Um, so the stats don't lie. The only things that Lascelles is good at, Dan Burns can do better anyway. He can get on the end of it on offensive corners as well, yeah. which Lascelles does for us a bit. So just just a massive upgrade, and he's left footed, and we need one exactly. Of them, so. I mean, corners and free kicks into the box when you've got somebody who's six foot seven. I mean, that is going to create a threat anywhere you look at it, and everybody else will be sniffing around for rebounds. Uh, Roger S, thanks for becoming a new member of the Tune Review. Um, can I just say as well that there's a few comments coming in about Mason Greenwood. Um, I'm not going to be commenting, and nor, nor, nor is anybody on the show today about Mason Greenwood. Um, we will let the authorities deal with that, quite honestly, mm-hmm. and um, we stay quiet on that. I know um, people have had their opinion on Twitter, which is fair enough, uh, but we are staying away from that story um, and uh, let the authorities deal with that. Um, Potato Gamer says, Dan Burnham saying Just would be really would be unreal signings for me. Both play centre-back, but can play other positions. To cover injuries, Saint Just is really fast to help make up for Burns' lack of pace. He hasn't got a lack of pace. Uh, Jade, how are you feeling about uh, the, the Burns signing? I'm quite excited about it. Like you know, like like Statman said, the it doesn't lie. You know, it doesn't lie. He's clearly superior to whatever we've got. Mm-hmm. Do I think he's the first choice centre back? No, but this is why you have lists and backup lists. Yep. You know. And I think the only reason that he's probably not getting the credibility that he deserves for his performances being as high in those rankings as he is is because he's coming from Brighton. Mm -hmm. If he was sat and he was, you know, pulling these stats up and he was playing for a top six team, everybody would be going crazy. So, well worth it. Really excited to get him in. Yeah. Buzz, what about yourself? Are you pleased with it? Massively pleased. He's a good, very, very good squad player. Like we said, he'll play left centre back or play left back. He's like a Paul Dummett or an Aaron Hughes. He's come on with age. He's got better. We've got to thank Potter for that because he's really given him a new lease of life at Brighton. And the reason why he does more passes is because Brighton are a better passing football team than Newcastle are. So let's hope he can bring a bit of that to our team because we lose the ball far too easily. So yeah. let's hope uh, he With really Bruno in front us. of him, hopefully that can start exactly. to be a yeah. thing that, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We all love a thing. We all love a yeah. thing. We do. Um, <laughs> On the subject of a striker, it's very, very quiet at the moment, um, Danielle. So where d- do you think we'll be looking for a striker between now and 11 o'clock tomorrow night? Or, or yeah. should we just be thankful for what we've got? No, I'd go for it. I think we need some. We need to score goals and we can't. We're really struggling with that. Um, I don't think we can rely on saying to score all the goals. And I just don't think with Callum being out till is it end of February, beginning of March. Yeah. Um, I don't think Wood can put it. So I think we need someone in um, who's going to put the ball in the back of the net. Um, it's all very well having a great defence, but if we kind of put the ball in the net, we're knackered. So I, I'm holding out for a striker tomorrow. Right. Well, Mark Mark has got a, a wish list here for his uh, for his, his transfer deadline day. And if these come in, right, I think it's to say it would be the best transfer window in the history of the world. Um, <laughs> my wish list before Monday would be Connor Cody, Mitchell Backer and Duvan Zapata. 
because he's Colombian. <laughs> Remember, Tino Asprilli, exactly. Yeah, baby, yeah. Um, wow, I mean, those three he players He doesn't want there, much, does he? No, 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 <laughs> but can you imagine? You know, we, we get them three in with, uh, you know, what we've already done. And uh, Burn, yeah. And Burn, and Bruno, Trippier. And you make it a surprise tomorrow, or you just don't know, do you? Well, I mean, how big of a surprise are we going to get here? Oh. Well, possibilities are endless. Dembele is still an option. His wage demands are dropping quite significantly, apparently. Apparently, he started off at 350,000 a week and now it's down to 200,000 a week. So it depends on what Barcelona want to do. They don't want him at the club. We're the yeah. only, only club who've got a deal on the table for him. Mm -hmm. So if he accepts it, it could be Dembele on the last day of the season, on the last day of the window tomorrow. And of course, uh, reports saying that we've gone in for Dean Henderson again today. Um, which would be a loan deal for six months, I believe, with a view to a permanent deal. Um, Danielle, Dean Henderson, do we need him or do we not? Because reports are that Eddie Howe isn't really sold on uh, Martin Dubravka. Rich, I don't understand. Um, for me, given that we've got, what, less than 36 hours to go um, until the, the window closes, I don't think it's a priority in terms of a goalkeeper. I think Dubravka's done, done great this season. Um, and he's my number one. I'm, I'm totally team to Bravka, but I don't know what anyone else thinks. But I think striker for me all the way. I wouldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't be worried about a goalkeeper. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sold on Dan Byrne either. Um, Dan Byrne. Dan Byrne. I mean, not Dan Byrne. Chris Woodman. Oh, Jesus what are you talking about, Chris Wood for? Oh, we're talking about Dean Henderson. striker. <laughs> we're talking about Henderson. Yeah, I but she was on about a striker man, and I'm just saying, yeah, I'm not sold on Chris Wood. <laughs> all right, okay. Shut up, Buzzy. You're in the bin. <laughs> Right. Um, but anyway, and, about Henderson and about the Bravka, the reason why Howe's not sold on him is because he can't play with his feet. And we've seen that. He's well, cost yeah. us goals yeah. every single so time he's trying to play terrible. off from the back. It's terrible. Yeah, so that's why that. he's not dead set on him. He's a great shot stopper. Mm. But if we want to I mean, start I don't think he's cost us football, goals. That's he a bit harsh. He Lester. has. Yes, he has too. We're getting into a debate. And then... Man City... Man City, he kicked the ball out for okay. a corner, trying Indeed to pass it out. Yes. Leicester, he played us into trouble and we ended up giving away a penalty. Yes, he did. Burnley, he nearly cost us a goal as well, trying to play out from the back. He yes. can't play with his feet. And he made a mistake against Cambridge. Yes. They gave them the goal. Exactly. So that's about four, Alex. I mean, I mean, I think you've been shot down there, mate. I, I think mean, you've had a and you said I would never be able to do it, and I've done it already. Uh, I, I wonder about wasn't he? He was very, very rusty when he came back, definitely. And I think the last few games, he's cleaned it up a lot. I think he was good at Leeds. He was definitely good yeah, at Leeds. He was, but he wasn't yeah. like he's from improved. the back though. He was kicking the ball. He was long. better that's against Watford as well. I, I agree, his distribution is subpar completely. But I feel like is that important, like yes. today and tomorrow? Well, if he gets injured. Uh, Look at yeah, what we've got behind him. Yeah, you know, I agree. Is that, is that, Carlo, is that, Gillespie. That, that would tell me that maybe we do need to bring somebody in. I as agree. Cover. I agree. Um, Along with cover, striker, yeah. I absolutely, I absolutely want a striker as well. Don't get me wrong. But yeah. I, want, I want both because I, I, don't, I don't quite trust get what Andy's saying Bradford. here. Yeah. I don't believe I don't... we have enough. Andy's saying, I don't get why people are happy with Wood and Burn. Sorry, but I can't help feeling uh, we take anyone we can get. Uh, well, I'm sorry, but as Statman's just proved there, Burn is a lot better than Lascelles. Now, the question is, which of the centre backs, if we don't bring another one in, does he drop? Does he drop the cells? Drop the cells yes. Or does he yeah, drop Shah? I don't think no. he drops the cells. I honestly don't think he'll drop him. Unless that, he goes three at the back. Jade. Oh, let's not go in. Let's not go into that one again. I'm not controversial with that one. Let's not. How many tweets I'm getting over this? This this wing back thing now. It's just been the talk of hey, days. Hey, listen. The bottom line: you won me round, right? And that's not an easy thing to do. I was I wasn't work. I was dead against it, but when when we started discussing it, I came round to it. But I, I still think I'm we need a, a left wing back. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree with you. Well. <laughs> they just don't watch La Liga. That's why it can work. We just that's what it is. It. You see, they don't watch proper teams do it. If you do it the proper way, it works. Christ, I thought Keith was asking for Jermaine Defoe there, <laughs> but he says the players we have now would Defoe keep us up. Uh, I still um, think we need another one. Yeah. Minimum. Yeah. Yeah, so we yeah. need another attacking player, and then I'd feel yeah. more, more confident. It's what Danielle yeah. said. We need somebody to put it in the back of the net a bit more than we got at the moment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Get, get, I, get one of those I, in. I, I yeah. installed on Chris Wood. Not at all. So, Are you um, not sold no. on Chris Wood, Paul? 
<laughs> You're having a man, there's another Sinclair. <laughs> eh? I've just said I'm not sold on Chris Wood. What's the matter with Why? that? Why? Why? Because I'm he's not, not going to score either. us I'm the not... goals. I'm not sold okay. on him either. So I'm, well, I'm again. Okay. I'm not going to argue. I'm sorry, but the, the, I've seen him twice for Newcastle, and twice he's been like a big lump up front. He doesn't do anything. Okay. Don't get me started on a Sunday afternoon, I tell you. <laughs> I'm hoping for him to prove me wrong. Do you know what I mean? Go for it. Prove me wrong. We about need somebody your with but a bit right of now, pace. I'm not yeah. sold on it. Thank you, Jade. Somebody with a bit of common sense on this show. Um, excuse me. <laughs> uh, you <laughs> need to talk after the grief you've given me on the last two live shows, Missy. At the top, yeah. I think it's only Barry. Sat Are you shut there, up and all stop, man? It's just it's getting out of hand already. <laughs> Alex, right. I wouldn't all got fired last night, so I, I wouldn't. Yes. Sorry, right, Baz tried to fire me as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, Wacky Andler says, Bed Dan Byrne is singing the Tune Review theme song, Take Me Home to the Banks of the River Tyne to the place that I call mine. I mean, the thing is, you know, he, he's a Geordie and, and he's, he's he's a Newcastle fan, Danielle. That's, that's got to go for something, hasn't it? Because we always keep saying, oh, you know, we, do, we don't have enough... Uh, you know, Geordies, and we don't have enough Newcastle fans in the team. This guy is, is, is said all along his career, he's a Newcastle United fan. He's he's a he's a massive supporter. That can only board well for him being on the pitch, can't it? Yeah, he's he's one of us. So he gets what it he gets what it means to wear the shirt. Yeah, um, and that's half the battle. Um, we need people like that in the dressing room. I think it's going to be a tough battle up until May. Um, and we need everybody pulling in the same direction. So uh, that's why I'm over the moon that he's here because he gets what it means to everybody, not just at the club, but in the city. Yep. Um, and hopefully we can get out of this very quick. Hopefully we can pull Everton into it. If we go on Tuesday, that would be great if we could do that. Oh, I'd be demoralised if Everton go down. I'll be uh, honestly. Uh, Jim says, what. good morning from Nashville. Uh, Adam says he's one of our yeah. own. Uh, Keith's on the understanding that Eddie and Ketty still might be on his way to Newcastle. I don't think that's going to happen. Um, Baz, I don't know whether you've heard anything on Enketia, but uh, yeah, that's what I'm mm -hmm. led to believe as well. Yeah, I've not heard anything. Uh, West Ham, wasn't it? it? Was the next one for him, or was that Ekateke? Yeah. Um, I was there. That was Hugo. Hmm. But I, I still think Dembele's got legs when it comes to tomorrow. I think a lot of deals have still got legs. When Listen, it comes I, to I think there's a whole host of shit going to yeah. happen tomorrow. I, I, I really I from the word go, I think it's going to be a very, very busy day. Um, Julie says, good afternoon, peeps. Hope you're all well. Please keep comments respectful and enjoy the show. Click the like button, subscribe, and become a member of the Toon Review family. She's a good mod, isn't she? She's a good one. Even though I threatened is. her with a sack as well. But, uh, you know. <laughs> Everyone's it's all, getting sacked. It's all yeah, we're all got fired. I got, and why did that? Why, Danielle? The, Look, the abuse I was taking on our, our group all, chat last night was disgraceful, by the all way. All we did was provide you with a GIF monologue of your obsession with Connor Cody. That's all I we did. I don't have an obsession. You do. I don't. Do. I just see him as the answer for our our uh, defence, quite honestly. And I, I won't go back on that. I think he's a fantastic defender. And we're better than the pile of poo we have at the minute. He'll be from coming Dan in Burn. the summer. He'll be coming. Well, we'll see. Uh, Adam says, I've seen the news about Cody. Thought Paul has to be doing a stream. No. Uh, I honestly I thought you'd have jumped on like <laughs> early hours of the morning. I thought you're just going to jump live at like 1 a.m. <laughs> I'm surprised the first thing I saw on Twitter this morning was Paul's yes across my Twitter <laughs> screen. I, I, I already know what that is. <laughs> well, you know, I'm just... I was just celebrating, you know, just just the, the, the off chance that it had come to light again. Uh, Brian <laughs> says, I read that about Cody, but don't start Paul off again. <laughs> uh, Botman tomorrow, says Scottish Gimli. I believe I that's so. still alive, Baz. Massively alive. Lil need money, desperately. You know, we've got an offer on the table for Botman. I think they might uh, come crawling back to her and say, maybe add a couple of million onto it, and then we'll yeah. say yes. And I think that could happen with Carlos as well, though. Because we're only eight million away from the valuation on him, so if we really want him, we could just go back and say, "Right, there's the thirty-eight million. Take it or leave it, and see how see how it goes." Yeah, uh, John Joe, thanks for the four pound forty-nine super chat. Uh, he comments, "Would you believe me if I told you we have three more players coming in tomorrow, totaling seven in the January window? That's insane. That's ten out of ten. 
Well, it would be. Yeah. Obviously, it would be more than possible. It's 10 out of 10 already for me. It was 10 out of 10 last week, wasn't it? <laughs> it's still 10 out of 10. That was wrong. We were 10 out of 10. Word. He was buzzing. Yeah, yeah, it was like trivia. It was 10 out of 10. Buzz just <laughs> wanted it. Oh, dear. Um, Majestic says, uh, uh, if we sign Botman, not sure I have enough tissues in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Paul went through uh, two boxes last night when he saw Cody oh, coming. Oh, piss off, Barry. Uh, 12 Man 2 says, I'm disappointed. <laughs> I'm disappointed. <laughs> I'm disappointed at how other clubs have acted and not allowing us to get the players we want out of their own pettiness. I'm proud of our owners for trying to get those players. Listen, the... Yeah. Oh, two seconds. Uh, Dominic, thank you for the 89.99 super chat, matey. That is super, super kind. Thank you well from everybody at the Tune Review. That is unbelievable. Thank you so much. We have some big contributors to this channel, and you're all fantastic. Um, the new owners, Alex, they've got to take some a round of applause because they've took some. They have took a little bit of heat in this transfer window, haven't a they? Little. A little, a lot, a uh, lot of heat a in lot. this transfer window. Um, Bas, please don't interrupt me again. Um, <laughs> Got it right then. <laughs> right, you're sort of, you're He's getting so brave. He's gone. He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> right, Alex. <laughs> they've took a lot of heat in the in the in the transfer window, haven't they? And I think it's uh, it, you know it's fair to say that they have looked at a lot of players and they have been working very hard behind the scenes, haven't they? Yeah, definitely. They, they've they've stuck to their guns. They've not overpaid. Um, and I think this uh, Bruno Guimaraes deal is more than just about the player. Mm-hmm. It's the first time we've shown we can not get bullied into a price and overpay. So it's more than that. It's a double whammy. It's shown that we can attract top quality without overpaying because he's not on bonkers wages. He's not on three, four hundred thousand a week. He's not. We've not. We've not paid. I mean, to be completely honest with the player, he is on paper and visually from what we've seen. He looks like he could have gone for 50 or 60 and it would have been fair um, yeah. Yeah. For, for what he's like. So the fact that we've got him for the price we have, for his quality, um, it hopefully is going to start setting a precedent, uh, a precedent where we're not going to get taken for a ride. Um, yeah. So they've done a cracking job to hold out. I mean, it was risky because that deal might not have happened, but it has. Mm-hmm. And hopefully that will open the doors for for you know smoother sailing for some future transfers so they, they've played it very well it was risky but it's worked so Definitely. considering they got com- they, people were complaining they didn't have any football brains around them mm-hmm. they've done all right they've done a very good job yeah, yeah. uh wacky analyst says uh must say the quiz was entertaining last night big well done to paul and danielle um just one you question won. on that where were the world of sport representatives on the quiz last night because not one turned up it was, it was. actually what happened to we Oh, sorry, yeah, Louis. Louis. Yes, Louis. Louis did. Uh, he did yeah. very miserably. It has to be said. But, um, Lesson. Where was the CEO of World of Sport? Where was you, Jid? Where was Von- <laughs> Billy Trey? Where was anybody from World of Sport apart from Louis? Bath time, I'm afraid. JJ was at work, baby, and got out late. Yeah. She was I following up with Dan Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I didn't uh, get out till nine forty-five, so I was I was really mm. unhappy. Okay, okay, okay. I'm here uh, today. Since, That's uh, what matters. Can't wait to see Bruno, mm. Big Dan, and Trippier tear Van der Beek a new one. They will swallow mm. him up. Uh, listen, the guy. I mean, uh, there's a lot of sarcasm come uh, and uh, criticism come Van der Beek's way as well because people are saying, well, he couldn't get in. The, he, he can't get in the worst Man United team in thirty years. That has to say something as well. Um, but to go to Everton when he said he wouldn't come to Newcastle mm. because of a relegation, Jade, that just sums up to me that he just he's not one of these players that we we need anyway because he just doesn't seem to have no. the fight. No, he obviously obviously hasn't got the uh, the manhood for it or state. Um, oh. You haven't got it. We don't want you. You know, you're yeah. offered a perfectly good opportunity. You wanted first team football. You were offered that. They're only four points ahead of us. Something ridiculous like that. You didn't. You didn't want to fight. You've just put yourself in a fight. So yeah, I'm hoping Bruno smashes him, takes yeah. him clean out, Definitely. and um, welcome to first team football, sunshine. See what will happen is Joel Linton will come and just take the ball off Van der Beek like he's not even there. He lay the ball <laughs> off to Shelby. Shelby a neat little ball into Bruno. Bruno runs ten yards, twenty yards outside the the the, the, <laughs> the goal. Rifles one in right into the the, the the postage stamp, and he goes up to Van der Beek and goes. And then runs away to celebrate. 
that's what you could have had, mate. Uh, but there you go. Dan Bird and Fraser. Oh, dear me. Oh. Yeah, can you imagine them two standing next to each other? It's going to be like, where is he? Where is he? You can hide behind him like, in stand- the corner pieces, yeah. can't he? Be like standing next to the Eiffel Tower, won't it? Um mm-hmm. Uh, Brian says, Keith, mate, I don't think my liver could take it if, if the sticky-fingered scousers went down. Uh, Lingard for me, although I don't know if the Greenwood situation puts a spanner in the works. Um, uh, first game after the window is going to be insane. Yes. Uh, Lee says, Louis Vaughn smashed, um, still smashed off his two Newcastle brown ales last night. Uh, rumours we have bid for Dean Henderson, I understand. Uh, those rumours are possibly true. This Wolves player called Cody is linked, but I've never heard of him. Thomas, get off. Uh, Keith says, <laughs> give the greedy twats at Man U the money they want for um... Jay Ling. I think he's on about Lingard. Uh, mm-hmm. We'd get it back. Uh, Seth says, who's Cody? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Stephen wants Connor Cody in. Uh, anyone doing a watch along for the Burnley Watford game? When is that? When's that? <laughs> It's a good God, question. It could be a boring game with the way they're playing at the moment. Yeah. Let's have a look. Yeah. Uh, it won't be Monday. It could be Tuesday. It's not Tuesday. Is it Wednesday? I think they got fleeced for their striker as well. Their it's striker went to is it Zagreb Thursday? yesterday. It's not Thursday. I've got, I'll get back to you when I find out when it is. Uh, FA Cup, Man United on the Friday. Oh, Saturday, 6 p.m. Saturday, 6 p.m. Is that Burnley v Watford? Yeah, because the FA Cup's this weekend as well, isn't it? So, yeah. But, yeah. Oh, it's, well, according to Sky App, there's no games on the Saturday other than Burnley Watford. Yeah, you look further down though the FA Cup. No, it, it won't. It won't go any further down, mate. It literally just that's it. Are you on Premier League though? Ah, uh, yeah. All competitions. Good point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good point. I'll let you off. That's all right. No, no, no worries. Uh, the pundits who said we should only focus on relegation experience signings must be eating heavy helpings of humble pie from Blythe Butchers. Indeed. From Indeed. Butchers. Uh, Kevin said, did he, Paul, say something about boring his ass if we sign Cody? Uh, bearing his ass. Uh, I don't remember saying that. Uh, afternoon, all. A very apt <laughs> team too for Burn signing. Yeah. Six We're never going to let that down. Over the move. What? <laughs> You have to bear your ass in Phoenix window if we sign Cody. Yeah, so if yeah. we sign Cody in this window. Oh, right. Okay, I'll let you off. You know, we could sign him in the summer, but, you know, that, that's that's fair enough. Um, <clears throat> right, with regards to Bruno, um, I'm led to believe that that's going to be announced tomorrow simply because of the uh, situation with Leon and the stock exchange in France uh, because, obviously, they're closed at the minute um, and they would have to... Basically, they have to go through everything. Has to go through the stock exchange with Leon because of the connection they have with it. So, um, yeah. I would expect it though pretty early, Danielle. Maybe uh, tomorrow morning, within hours of the stock exchange opening. Hopefully, straight away. Let's get let's get let's get Bruno announced, and let's get Dan announced, and then let's just crack on. We're getting a few more in tomorrow. Um, the earlier the better for me. Um, what a day it's going to be! I'm absolutely buzzing. Um, and I can't wait to spend it all with you guys. I think it's going to be an amazing day in the history Aww. of our club. Oh, 14 hours of streaming. <laughs> Do you just want to give a good little... <laughs> yes. Um, Luke says, hey, Jade, you can play the wing-back system if you want now. Little trip, you're on the right in, big Dan on the left. I wouldn't have Luke, that. Luke, you're so funny, mate. Every show, bro. <laughs> Do you want to detect a bit of sarcasm there, Jade? Dan wouldn't play on the left anyway. He'd play as a centre-back, wouldn't he? Yeah, he's so... not going to play on the left. Not, not not when we've got the great Javi, who can play left and right. Anyway. Um, great news. Effing buzzing, says Chris. Keep yes. up the good work. Love all your channels. You make my week, says Pedro. Uh, afternoon, everyone. I think Dan Byrne is a good signing. Uh, afternoon, gang. Cracking window so far. Can't wait to get going against Everton. It seems a mile away, though, doesn't it, uh, Jade? It it's a mile away. Still a week on Tuesday. Yeah, I despise international breaks. I really do, especially mid-season. They drive me at the wall. This one I could kind of live with because we had the transfer window. We all knew we were going to be doing business. But now you just kind of want to get them in, get them changed. I just want to see them play. And you're just obviously hoping it all just kind of comes together and meshes really, really well. We go and smash Everton 3 or 4 nil, And then everyone, everyone's <laughs> singing and dancing and we're all drinking and have a really great night. Yeah, yeah. I mean... 
Listen, it's 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 incredible the build up of this transfer window, Alex, because simply we haven't had this for what 14, 15 years where we've come to a transfer window and we, despite us signing three or four players, we're still involved. Yeah, I I don't remember anything like this for a long time. I think I think back when we were busy under Pardew, when we had all the all the French Revolution, when we had Tiote's so guys. Cool. Yeah, that that was when. That was when France were doing well in terms of league, when uh, Montpellier and Lille, the first time round, were pumping out loads of star players. And we, we really did capitalise on that. Um, so apart from probably 2012 was the last time we were kind of excited. We've had yeah. a few a few hopefuls with the Florian Talvan and the Tovan and um, Remy Cabello was supposed to be really, really good as well. But... <sighs> Since about 2012, really, that's, that's 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 ten years since we've had a what we could say was a we got decent decent players out of a window, so or of a season. It's been a long time. It's just been scrapped for so long, and it's just been the transfer windows have been slowly getting worse season on season, up to the point of you know the Chowdhury loan, all of that. That was the real low point. It just declined all the way up to there, and now yeah. it's now it's the polar opposite. So it's, it's incredible, such a change. Mm. I didn't even watch Transfer Deadline Day the last Bent few years. Lab. I mean, you just, you just don't <laughs> have it followed it at all. There was never any point in following it. No. And now I'm like, every single day it's on all day. You, know, you count it down to it. You're desperate to see what's, what's going to go on. It's just a whole different feeling. I've never refreshed tw- Twitter so often in the early yeah. hours of the morning for football compared to this window. It's, it's ridiculous. I charge my phone three times a day. <laughs> well, that's your fault for getting the Pro instead of the Pro Max bars, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. yeah. Seriously, the 13 Pro Max, you can't kill the battery. It's just, it's incredible. Uh, Dan Burn is a good signing and he's coming home. He will work his ass off for the club he supported as a kid. Um, Ronald says you're a ginger git. Um, <laughs> Newcastle will be so busy tonight. Do you think Do you think Dan Burn could be announced as, as early as today, Baz? No. And why? Premier League shut in it. Paperwork will be done tomorrow. So they won't announce it until it's all finalised and done. And I'm probably not sure. have, I reckon they want to do it all in one day. Yeah, but do you think the Premier League, given that it's deadline date day tomorrow, might have people in today? Might have. I don't know. Some Is it definitely to, shut or you just think us. it's shut? Well, they're always shut on a weekend, don't they? They only work Monday to Friday. Well, so have you been someone, there weekend, someone, someone will have to tell us whether the, the deal can be fully finalised today because I, yeah. I, Paul's I, got I a point. Think, it would be... You'd think they'd open it for so close to the deadline. It would make sense. Because there's going to be lots of deals yeah. going on. And I would think that they'd have staff in today um, to, to do paperwork. I, I, tomorrow's I, the big day, though, isn't it? Well, yeah. But they, they, they'll want to, if, if deals go ahead today, they'll want to confirm them and get them done. And so they don't have like, the overrun tomorrow. It, it, it just seems a bit easier to me. I mean, it's, it's not like... it's not This like is the it's... Premier League, though, isn't it? <laughs> Well, I, that's a good point. Yeah, still waiting um, for this big release video. We're getting like another two exactly. in tomorrow. Do all, do all three of them at the same time in that nice fancy video Danielle talks about. You know, what the flash of lights and stuff. Yeah, are we getting one of them, or is it just? Well, it could be fireworks, golden camels. It could be anything. That's I want it. to see a gold camel on the pitch. <laughs> gold, gold everywhere. The and if we ever had a video and... of a player, like a a release well, sure. video. I don't think yeah, we but have, could, have could we? you imagine? Not like, a nice fancy one. No, no yeah. j- j- just imagine. You, you know, the, well, from the corner of St James's, you know where the leases end, where you can come in the ground that way, right? Let's just say, Gurameresh. I mean, I know he won't, but he comes in riding a camel, right? <laughs> Sitting on a camel. Dan Byrne and someone else next to him who we've just Henderson. signed, leading, the, coming onto the pitch. Um, you know, and fireworks going off everywhere, and uh, you know. Uh, I, I honestly believe they might want to wait till tomorrow to do, get say, one, four one or five all in one go. Ah, yeah. that'd be classy. Man. I mean, drop one, be... one from each corner of the ground, then all in the middle together, and oh, beautiful. <laughs> Good firework impression there, Jade. I'm just coming up the tunnel. <laughs> I've, I've been practising that. I've been practising that for hours. <laughs> yeah. Um, Richard says, what do you reckon? If we can only get one more in, are we halfway okay now defensively? Better to try and get an attack in midfield or a striker. I agree. Uh, Michael Marsden, thank you for the hundred pound super chat, Mehdi. You are an absolute star and a legend, a gentleman and an officer. Uh, top man, thank you so much for that. Uh, again, Michael is is probably the biggest uh, donator to this channel uh, ever. 
ever, 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 and always will be. Um, thank you very much, Michael. Uh, I would say the RSPCF will be contacting. Who are they? Who are they? I've no idea. I have no idea. I've no I'm idea. meant to be like a Cody joke within the RSPCA or something. Possibly. I don't know. Maybe. RSPCF. F. I don't know. Uh, mm -hmm. Huge different to last summer's window, says Gladys, or without a shadow of a doubt. Uh, great channel. Won't talk about Greenwood yet. It's pushing out Lingard loan. Uh, Abs has never seen a decent player that tall. Burn will need to convince me, but wishing all the best for him. Um, I mean, Peter Crouch was all right, wasn't he? Yeah, he yeah. didn't do too badly. Um, who was that? Does anybody remember that big German fellow? What was his name, man, from years ago? He was like 19 foot tall. Um, Gomez? No, 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 before him. Way um, before him. I can't think of his name. Someone in, someone will know who I'm talking about in who's viewing it. was uh, not close, though. He wasn't that tall. No, no, not he wasn't way, that tall. Be way before um, him as well. I can't think of his name. Um, ah, someone will know. Uh, damn, this channel is addictive, and I am 5,000 miles away. Enjoyed the trivia show. I only knew about 10% of the answers, but found it entertaining. Thanks very much. <laughs> um, Usain Bolt is just under six foot five, apparently, mm -hmm. and he can shift. He can play football a little bit. Well, a little bit, yeah, but he, he can run a bit as well. Uh, Michael says, watch the clip of Burns chasing down Aguero tackles and clears and tell me he's not fast. Even gets a uh, fist pump off Aguero. I've seen that. Mm -hmm. I've seen that clip. When was that, uh, though? Well, it doesn't really okay, matter. It happened. <laughs> I mean, it, <laughs> does, it does matter if it was five seasons ago, but yeah. I don't think Dan Burns was at Brighton five seasons ago, was he? I don't know. He's just making a point that, you know, his legs have aged. Oh, those stats don't lie. Guys no, no negativity about our signing yes. at all. He's like, Chris, he lying, baby. wait a minute, wait a minute. No <laughs> negativity about our signings at all, but yet you just absolutely rinsed Chris Wood every single show. He because. hasn't proved us wrong yet. <laughs> I don't know. You said no. <laughs> no, no. Said, I mean, he said I, he wasn't sure yet. He didn't say he didn't like I haven't him, rinsed like... him. I just said I'm not sure. To me, he's played like a big lump for two games, but I haven't rinsed That's him. Negativity, though, isn't it? Well, no. I just said it's I want to see him improve. I am yet to see. I am yet to be convinced of that transfer. Give him time. Um, if we get Dean Henderson, uh, we will have a one million. We will have one million keepers at that rate. Well, yeah, there's a few no, of them, but I think a million is yeah. a bit of an exaggeration. Two of them uh, will so... disappear in the in the window as well. Yeah, yeah Gillespie will go. Woodman will go on loan. Mm. Yeah, Woodman to uh, Bournemouth. I've heard. On yeah. Loan. yeah, I saw that as well. Yeah, uh, Zapata would be a game changer. Yes, he would. I mean, if we got Zapata, Danielle, would he? Uh, would would he sort of force you to drink tomorrow? No, oh, I'd be drinking. Ah. I'd be drinking away. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm not. I'm not. I'm literally don't care if we get Zapata. I mean, it is what it is. Um, <laughs> but yeah, of course he would. It'd be amazing. It would be amazing. And you know what? We might get a nice surprise tomorrow. You just don't know. I still, I'm still. I still really believe that we 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 are going to pull off one big big signing. Still, I mean, I know Gramerich is, you know, without a shadow of a doubt, is a big big signing. But I think we are going to get a monster signing tomorrow, and I still believe that that monster signing is going to be Botman. I don't know why. I've just got a a, a feeling that it's going to be Botman, yeah. and if we can get Botman in, I think you know, relegation's gone. We're, we're not going to get relegated. Um, I still Botman don't think and an attacker and. Yeah, you can waste yeah. on camera all day with your lads, like yeah. your party. <laughs> Journalists are definitely hyping up a, like you said, a. They think there's something magical going on. They keep they keep saying they it. They do keep so. doing it. Yeah, it's yeah. been removed yeah. from the betting as well on Sky. It has. Apparently, and so, apparently Lampard's just signed his contract with Everton. Say the Telegraph. Look to him. I don't believe um, that because they also removed the likes of all those managers we were linked with before Eddie Howe as well. Before Eddie Howe was appointed, Eddie Howe was still twelve to one. So don't don't believe in that. Yeah, that's true. Uh, guys, thank you very much for watching the show this afternoon. We got over a thousand watching at the minute, wow. so thank you very much again. If you are enjoying the show, please do hit that like button. If you're new to the channel and you like what you see, please do consider subscribing. You can become a member as well if you hit the join button. Uh, and you can donate to the channel, as some very good people already have today, by hitting the dollar sign at the bottom of the live comments. Please also go and subscribe to World of Sport TV as well. Um, big, big streaming session with them tomorrow. Uh, all day from 10 o'clock in the morning right through to midnight on both channels. Two hours stints each uh, throughout the day. It's going to be epic. It's going to be brilliant. 
Uh, so their link is down below in the description. Uh, and a big shout out to the channel sponsors, Jordy Riffs, Professional Guitar Repairs and Servicing. Uh, please give Graham or Natalie a shout if you need anything. 10% off your first guitar uh, repair or your guitar setup and your first lesson completely free of charge. Uh, check their website out. It's linked below in the description. And you can also catch them on Facebook and Twitter as well. Thank you very much for them and their continued support of the channel. Jock says, do you think Howe's reading of tactics is starting to show with the signing we got so far? Yes. And why is that, Jid? He's bringing in players that can pass the ball. It's what he wants. He wants that fast, you know, attacking, possession, you know, based football where you can move, quick, pass, move, quick, pass, move. And that's that's clearly what he wants. To, we just didn't have the players to do it. You know, yeah. he, that's the way he wants to play. These players can all do it. So it completely changes the dynamic of how we're going to move defending and, you know, attacking going forward. So definitely shows signs of how we're going to be looking to play come the second half yeah, of the season. Definitely. Like every player we've been linked with, apart from Wood, has got ridiculous pressure, pressures, yeah. stats and yeah. passing stats. So you can see what he's trying to build, like just a machine team that can pass the ball. Yeah. Uh, Andrew second says, man see. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Basically, and- yeah. Andrew says Dean Henderson would allow us to play out of the back. Yes, he would. Uh, Craig Hope has done a U turn on Henderson and now says it's unlikely. Oh, well, probably because of Man United. Craig. Yeah, there's, I think Man United have a lot of problems to deal with today. Um, yeah. My condolences to Paul for the Cody news. <laughs> it's, not, <laughs> it's not over yet. Still think there might be a big surprise before the window shuts, says Simon. Indeed. Yep. Uh, Alien Dragon or will fight Serpent, Earth Snake Lord. I have no idea what that is about. Oh, my um, God. I don't know what that means, but I'm living for it. That is a great comment. <laughs> I, yeah, is that some Game of Thrones action for, the, you know... Uh, f- Quote for the transfer window: The alien dragon will fight the serpent. Like Google Translate. Defeat the earth snake lord. <laughs> Sorry, Alex. So that Google Translate went horribly wrong, didn't it? Uh, Whatever that was. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think so. Yeah. Uh, Julie says, "To be fair, uh, Dubravka can only work with the quality in front of him." Yeah, but he can't pass the ball. But is that a confidence thing? But no, I just don't of, think he's good what's enough. In front of him, is it a case of he panics because he knows what's in front of him is clearly no good? Yeah. So if he panics, is he then making mistakes because it's already in his head mentally that whatever he does is going to bring pressure back onto him? He's never so been is, good is, with is, his is feet, though. Never been good with his feet. Since he's been here, he's never been good with his feet. Mm. And he's, he's, he's shown it in the games. doesn't matter what's in front of you. When he tries to play the ball out wide, he kicks it too hard, it goes over players' heads. Puts people in danger. He's, he's not a ball playing goalkeeper. He's a great shot stopper, good at commanding his box, good at rushing out and saving one on ones. But when it comes to playing football and actually passing the ball, he can't do it. What happens just if in doubt, kick it out? Eh? What changed? Well, exactly. That, we did that against Man United and look how well we played. We did it yeah. against Leeds. Look how I well we played. I think that old tactic of kick, if in doubt, kick it out has gone out the window for a few players this season, <laughs> without a doubt. Uh, Darren says reports are that we are going back in for Hugo Ekiteke. Um, that would be really good, but yeah. I've not heard anything. Sky, you keep mentioning it all the time, but I, I think, mm-hmm. um, again, that's going to be one that just suddenly breaks, in my opinion. That's going to be yeah. like one that mm-hmm. uh, all of a sudden, um, Newcastle have had a bid accepted for Eki Teke and the, the, you know, the, the negotiating a deal right now over personal terms. Just something that can happen that quick. Um, Maggot is back. Giving us cryptid is... tweets, don't they? Oh mm-hmm. God, I big yeah, signing yeah. come in and X, Y, and Z, and I'm like, just just say yeah. it or don't say it, because if it turns out that it's burned, I'm going to be really disappointed. Good point. Good point. Uh, if Dubravka gets injured, then I feel we need a backup, even if it's a loan. Then Bele from Leon would be another good option. Um, if Thanks Newcastle happen. gets Zapata and Carlos, then for sure we will get top six and maybe top four. <laughs> <laughs> next season, I'm yeah, talking next season. I, yeah, I, I hope so, yeah. <laughs> Christ Almighty, it's not going to happen. Imagine going season. on that winning run, we have to win every single game from now. Bloody hell! Uh, yeah, but listen, I mean, Danielle, this is what we wanted, isn't it? You know, when we talked about the takeover, this is the kind of thing we wanted: excitement in transfer windows. We wanted to be, you know, doing things like this on on sort of on the channels where tomorrow we're going to be sitting with iPads and phones and computers and. TVs on everywhere and just being kept up to date. I've got a contact at the training ground tomorrow, you know, so we, we can cross over live to the training ground on certain occasions. It's it's going to, you know, this is what we all wanted, isn't it? It's everything we've dreamed of. And I think 
sometimes we kind of have to check ourselves because you just think, is this really happening? Like, I can't even... Normally, it's like, like I, I think Alex was saying earlier, it's been so long since so we've had anything in the transfer window, but this is just something else. I'm absolutely, like, buzzing with the whole window. I think tomorrow is really exciting. Normally, mm. like Jade was saying earlier, it's just a Monday, isn't it? Like, yeah. it's yeah. Monday for us yeah. and everybody else. It's a, the, the last, you know, the, the deadline day for the transfer window, but... Mm. Everything I wanted and more. I'm really excited. And imagine if this is January, what summer's going to be like. Yeah. Incredible. Four weeks ago, I was working tomorrow. That's, that was how I set myself up. I was just going to work. Yeah, I have and a feeling there's a lot of... Uh, <laughs> I have a feeling there's a lot of fake COVID tests going in tonight. I'm telling you now. <laughs> uh, people ringing up saying, oh, it's come back positive. Look, and it's, uh, you know... Um, or, oh, I've got a headache. Oh, dear, I've got a stomach bug and I just can't get to work. Mm-hmm. But hey... If you're not at work, you can still watch us, guys. And if oh, you're at I work, numbers. sneak us on. I found, right? some number, I found some numbers for Barry. Um, Go on. So uh, I'm surprised by this, to be fair, because I half agreed with you. But Dubravka's actually right. got better pass stats as a goalkeeper than Dean Henderson does. Throws, long kicks, short kicks. He's actually got better distribution across the board than Dean oh. Henderson for the last 365 days. So yeah, but- that. Dean Henderson has hardly played this season, though, hasn't he? Well, so well that's the last well, three, six, five days. Better. So that is. I would like to see your stats that, when you played at Sheffield United. I, I can't look that far back, but ah. I'll have a look. That would but at the moment, his, his, his stats aren't actually as bad as. I think visually we remember his mm-hmm. mistakes, but his stats aren't too so bad. You tend to, though, with a goalkeeper, don't you? That's the thing. You, you, it you, takes you, a magnifying. You know, it, 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 yeah, exactly. It's it's not like, you know, or oh, the midfield is giving the ball away a certain amount of times. So if a goalkeeper makes a mistake, it normally leads to a goal, which will always stick in your mind rather than somebody making a bad pass through the game. And, and I think that's the difference. Um, it's not just once, though. It was three games in a row when we all yeah, said it was. On, on He went through a bit of a sticky ball. stage, it, it but hopefully he's out the other end. Yeah. Um, Wacky says, just watch <laughs> Dan Burn so versus... Bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, w- watch Dan Burn versus Chelsea and tell me you haven't signed a solid defender. He was epic in that game. We uh, he was. Happy. Uh, he was brilliant, actually. So, uh, yeah. Um, Van der Beek going to Everton. Uh, do you think the Arsenal goalkeeper come in before deadline day? Uh, we had been linked with Burton yeah, as Len- well. I know, yeah. I, know. I don't I know much about him, to be honest with you. I like, but I, I've liked Lennon. I like him. him. Yeah, I think he's. Uh, look at him. Let me have a look. I think see what his passing what stats got. are like. <laughs> yeah, go on, please, Barry. For God's sake. Well, see, this is, is this is why this is what he wants to sign. He wants to sign the goal. Yeah, but I expect right. them to be decent stats because Arsenal, have, uh, Arsenal were one of the first really weren't that a for this playing out from the back when it really got started. Arsenal were the main guys. They're not, for... they're not great. Yeah, because the Arsenal defenders were pants and couldn't pass the ball. I'm not sure how much he's played. Oh, funnily enough, his closest statistical profile is Matt Sells. That's interesting. Let's move oh, on. Jesus um, Christ. Yeah, let's move on. <laughs> it's like uh, it's want... all <laughs> around in a circle. Yeah, we don't want Bert <laughs> Menno. Absolutely not. Any comparison with Matt Sells has binned immediately. Um, where's Bruno, you lovely people? Well, at the minute, he's Brazil. in Brazil. Uh, and yeah. uh, we can't make an announcement anyway because the stock exchange in France needs to open for that to happen. Um, you won't be joining Francis... up until Wednesday or Thursday anyway. Yeah, I think been Thursday Brazil, they said so. he, was, he, was, he would be back. Uh, have you noticed Baz's back screen looks like Steve Bruce standing? <laughs> yeah, you need to zoom in on Bobby there because he does look a bit Brucey from that far out, doesn't he? He oh, does, yeah. He does, I. That's a bit freaky, actually. I, I, I really do not like that comment because that's that's Bobby Robson. Yes, but I can see what he I means. know. I'm well, listen, I think you may need to move him down a bit because he's floating, Baz. It's just the way the green screen is. All right, okay. See? Chairs in the way now. They don't like his floating, but it's just a bit of this. <laughs> I'm going to change it now. I don't like that comment. <laughs> okay. I think it looks all right when you've when you're the only one on screen. I think it's because we're we've got five people on. It looks smaller. Yeah, I think you're right. There That's we go. Back all the ladies house. tell them. Uh, anyway, uh, Keith says. Uh, <laughs> uh, Baz, is there any news on a second medical space, or is it just a booking in case? Probably just a booking in case. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think so as well. Uh, Haaland and Mbappe are coming in the summer, apparently. Could you um, imagine? Oh, <laughs> God. Oh, yeah. in the <laughs> so two boxes of tissues, I'll have ten. That's yeah. what we have. If, if, if we've got them mind, I'll be away in the summer. <laughs> hey, pick, up, pick up Salah because his contract negotiations... Are Salah, before. exactly. Oh, God. I mean, his contract Salah, Mbappe and Haaland. And we can afford to give him what he wants. So... 
pick him up because he wouldn't even cost us. Wow. Uh, we're not it's getting carried away or anything here, by the way, guys. No, so everybody watching, we're just, we, as usual, uh, the tune review is the sound of sense. And um, anyway, <laughs> uh, what is a good finisher and needs time? I'm yet to see it. Uh, Wayne says, will Manu uh, not put a staying up fee on Henderson like they tried with Lingard? Uh, well, time will Possibly. tell if, if we have indeed gone in for him. Uh, if Everton go down, I will laugh at Van der Beek if we also stay up. Uh, yeah, because it wouldn't be... I mean, if we and uh, Everton go down, that would be disastrous. We don't have anywhere near the players to play a five or a three at the back, says Matthew. Jade, do you want to answer him? No, because I answered what I needed to answer the other night upon that. We're in a transfer window. Watching. You can sign players. We do have players. We have plenty, actually, now. So, Yeah, Matthew, um, can I just give you a little bit of advice uh, from a man who's, you know basically had the hair dryer treatment twice now from Jade. Um, just beware. Swiftly moving on. Uh, As according as to said guys, earlier, if it's done correctly, it's a beautiful way to play football. I'd according... suggest maybe dipping into European leagues and having a look because it's yeah. pretty good when they get going. According to TF, that's football. We've got 30,000 subscribers. Uh, Lingard's done. According to this, the uh, he's agreed personal okay. terms. I, I, I don't particularly agree, but it, I mean, it, it's a that's lot of football. That, that, that's football's normally quite reliable, to be fair. Yeah, I have to exactly. say. Well, my Twitter feed's just full of people putting joke pictures of, of Dan Burns' height compared to Ryan Free. So I can't find any <laughs> Three, football anymore. Three minutes ago, understand that Newcastle are looking to finalise deadline deal with Jesse Lingard. Dialogue between both United has remained whilst Lingard's terms were already agreed. Lingard ready to bring down the curtain on his minority career. Would that be enough of an attacking player for you all? Yes. Or would you want another attacking player? Like, because obviously no. Daniel, do you want a striker? Would Lingard be enough? That. I still think Lingard would be enough. Yeah, I do. Oh, it's all heating well, up. Well, it's 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 definitely. Listen, the pan is starting to simmer. It is starting to simmer for tomorrow. There's there's no doubt about that. I mean, uh, mm. you know, I mean. It's it it's just it's just cooking along a little bit at the minute. Um, Ab says no rants on the Sabbath, please, Paul. <laughs> I'm not ranting about anything today, um, and I don't rant at all. Uh, the Magpie <laughs> review says we need a left back, Mitchell back at Deli Alley or Ross Barkley. Ross Barkley went very quiet, didn't it? I mean, yeah. Is Were we ever someone... in for him? Well, I don't know. Danielle, would you take him? Mm, I mean, is he better than what we've got? Yeah, well, if he, if, 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 if uh, given what we've already got, what if we signed this window and what we think we're going to get, then no, I wouldn't. Yeah. Um, it's a difficult Good one. Question. Yeah. Well, if he was the only option, then you would probably take him. Yeah. 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 I think we were talking about him oh. coming, uh, you know, if the takeover hadn't gone ahead, like yeah. as a loan oh, deal, you know, but it's still under the old regime. Uh, Mike says, I noticed one of the ladies mentioned about Origi sitting on the bench and slagged that off. Um, that that would me. have been I think a lot of us um, said that. It was me. It was me, and I still stand by that point. Yeah. yeah. It is a good Granted. point. You, you, you wonder what is what his actual, you know, ambitions are in the football world, mm -hmm. just to sit on the bench and and not be one of the... Collect the ruler. That's his ambition. Yeah, yeah, must be. Look at his age. I mean, you, you'd think he'd want more. And the fact that he's never once pushed for more or pushed to go to a club to get more playing time tells me all yeah. you need to know about that guy. It's so always, it's, it's, it, it is always been quiet, hasn't it, on that? On that, So, you know, there's never been any uh, news reports coming out over the years that Origi's pushing for a mm -hmm. move or he, he feels like he's, he feels like he should be starting more games. There's never been anything like that come out nope. of Liverpool yeah. or in the press. And you have to ask why. Football. Exactly. Yeah. So I, I stand by that point completely. I'd have a look at when there's when he last played a full season. That must have been when he went out on loan and he's like early on in his Liverpool career. Yeah, he's never been a well, he's thing never is, been a though, starter. He's, he's never he been was a starter told at what his role was at Liverpool and he was happy to do it because he's a Liverpool fan as well. And don't forget yeah, he's he scored uh, in Champions League finals and stuff that you could never do if you moved to another club potentially. He's yes, won but things he's a footballer that footballer Buzz. He's wasting away. He's wasting yeah, but, his career. Maybe he thinks he's not good enough to be in a, in a, in a start in 11 for a, a relegation battle team and you would prefer to come on and, and be a glorified 10-minute, 15-minute guy who scores winners and takes all the praise for it. 
that he's made his career doing it. So we can't. It's a weak mentality. Forward. So crack on, mate. But exactly. Yeah. And we, the mentality. last time he's made more than 30 appearances was 2017 18 season on loan at Wolfsburg. Mm. He's had one go. appearance, one appearance, 12. How many did he score in that season, Alex? In Germany, uh, yeah. he got six and 31 so in for Wolfsburg. I was five Impeccable. years ago. But... Impeccable striker. <laughs> yeah. Uh... I agree with Jade because if I think if if I disagreed with Jade on Origi, I think I would be swallowed up by the monster. <laughs> so I'm not even going to attempt to. Uh, John Joe, thanks for the four pound forty nine super chat. Uh, my ideal three tomorrow to come in would be Botman, Lingard, and Zapata yeah, or Origi. I agree with that. Listen, oh, take Origi out of that, John Joe, because you can't put Zapata and Origi in the same sentence. Yeah, that's, it, it, that's it just, awful. Yeah, it, it doesn't make sense, John Joe. But uh, yeah, the the first three. Very, very good. Very good. Uh, Roy over in Qatar. Hope you're well, matey. Uh, Burn is a 2% upgrade, and who'd get dropped for him? I'd say Shah, unfortunately. I feel like this is just uh, this is another, just in case we go down signing. And th- there is going to be that aspect of it for a lot of people as well. I mean, people are going to are going to think like that. Uh, Jason says, Wood isn't the sole striker. He needs a striker with pace alongside him. Mm-hmm. Then why put him in a four three three if that's not his strong point? Why put him up front mm-hmm. where he's going to do nothing? He did um, try and change it to a four four two though, didn't he? And put ASM closer to him near the end of the game, and it did start to look like it might work because ASM did get closer to him. Yeah, but so there is potential. Not a he's not though, but he's a. He could be a number ten. He's played there quite a lot. I prefer him as a winger, but. You can see the relationship trying to build. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. just click overnight. You've got okay. to give it the time. So I don't think people are looking at Wood the right way. I don't think he was bought mm. to be the striker. He was bought to fill the role of target man that we don't have in the squad. I think mm. that's why you're having the target man, Alex. If you um, can't actually hold the ball up, though, you know how many well, times he, have we seen? How many times have we seen record. him in the two games? Long balls. He goes to chest it down and it bounces off him. Like Billy Trey said, yeah, his first, yeah, sure. his second touch is always a tackle. Hmm. I agree. He messed up. He messed up. He got zero out of six ground duels against Leeds, but he set a record for the for aerial duels. I I agree. He's not been good enough so far. But I thought I think he was brought in to fill the hole in the squad of target yeah. man because we didn't have one. So I think you've got to reframe it. He's not been brought in as the striker. He's been brought in to fill the target man role within the squad and yeah. also weaken Burnley. I think like that. Hence why we're being linked with bigger strikers because yeah. we still we need the yeah. bigger striker. He isn't that. Um, yeah. yeah. And uh, Hal likes a 4 4 2, doesn't he? He likes two yeah. up front. So he's looking Twelfth to have someone tune. to play alongside. Yeah, exactly. Him. Yeah. 12th Man Tune says, I think we need to sign Ban Baz Dost. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's still playing, you know. He is, yeah. Hey, I couldn't believe that. Yeah. Uh, John says, uh, Let's not forget that Chris Wood has only played two games. Give him time, but we do need another striker as well uh, in case he gets injured or suspended and another person to score goals. Amen to that. Yes. Amen to that on a Sunday as well, eh? Uh, since when uh, has been born in Blythe a Geordie? Oh, let's not get into that. Oh. Look, Jesus Christ, man. He's, listen, he's a Newcastle United fan. He's oh, from man. the area. We call them Geordie. Uh, so why? If you're born, why if you're born in Cromleton, are you not a Geordie? If you're born same, in same North Shields, are you not a Geordie? If you're born in Durham, are you not exactly. a Geordie? I mean, you're definitely on. not a Geordie if you're born so in Durham. People are born in Cheshire, like United, don't they? Exactly. So it's the same thing. But I live in Durham and I'm a Geordie, so stick in, in the pipe and smoke exactly. it. Everyone uh, supports our football club as a Geordie. It doesn't matter where you're born. Exactly. Yes, exactly. Uh, CFC Florida, thanks for another $10, matey. Uh, with a comment saying, the new owners deserve enormous credit for the work in this Damn window. Right. Two weeks ago, they were being slagged off by many. Mm-hmm. Yep. Did we slag? Hated it. We didn't. But, uh, no, it was the press. Wasn't it? <laughs> a lot of negativity in the press. But, um, oh, there there's been loads of fans on Twitter as well, though. Oh, this is shocking. Oh, we need to do more. We should have done more business by now. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, just... I think that, I think, it, I don't think it was sort of criticism. I think it was just panic, wasn't there? Just thinking, you know, who are we going to get in because of the situation we were in in the league and uh, we're looking around. And, yeah, oh, there was definitely criticism. Some was... people said that there was bad as Mike Ashley at one point. Oh, I went there, not even I think Anyone it's panic, the fear of going fan. down, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I think it's, it's, just, it's, that mental, down, it's that mental fear. I think everyone's probably suffering from a post-Mike Ashley PTSD. PTSD, yeah. To be honest, where we've had so many years of this down negativity, you know, relegations, relegation battles, and it's just been so horrific yeah. that 
now there is this new hope. People are almost too scared to embrace the new hope because they're so used to the negativity. So it's, it's that fear. Yeah, good point. Uh, here, Paul from Virginia. Yeah, it's worldwide, worldwide. Uh, maybe Zapata coming, but Ekiteke is no way. Uh, does Baz mean Dembele the winger? <laughs> <laughs> I am uh, not getting into that, that again. conversation again. Nah, yeah, not, not, no, go on. You brought up my five at the back, so let's no, talk about this. Jade, because Billy will be watching having a bloody coronary, right? <laughs> he doesn't agree on, on that with Baz at all. And it, it's it's Ginger. Like bloody... Ginger was the worst one. Well, yeah, but, you know, you... Oh, we disagree you with anyone? Would... Mm, well, true. very true. Uh, just bring up some good points, though. He does. Denai says, hello, yep. guys from Dubai. Uh, Derek says, Paul is angry. Clearly, he's gone to Cody fan club. Ain't happening. Uh, <laughs> Isaac has been spotted in London. Or Isaac has been spotted in London. Mm -hmm. He needs to jump on a plane to Newcastle. This, I'm very surprised, uh, Alex, that there's not more interest in Isaac because I thought there would be a few teams going in for him this window. Uh, he's had a bad season so far. I was listening to some podcasts about him yesterday and I can't remember exactly what the numbers were, but he's not done very well so far this season, despite all the hype. Um, right. I think he is on a lot of people's lists. There's just been a lot of similar, you know, you've got the Jonathan David and the Vlahovic and him. There's a lot of that kind of striker going about right now. So there's quite a lot of options um, and he's just not been picked up and he's not had a great season so far. So he's a, a 18 appearances, four goals. 5xg he's doing all right he's not he's not setting the world alight like he was last year um yeah. stats are, are okay um maybe maybe people are a bit unsure to pay the sort of money that is being expected for that because he's not putting up yeah. the numbers again it could have been a flash in the pan we'll have to see but jonathan david and vlahovic continued the numbers uh and vlahovic got the move um jonathan david hasn't but maybe he will um it's just one of them. He's, he's not continued his form. So we'll see if he picks it back up. Yeah. Uh, Kushik2842, thank you for the 100 yen, I believe that is. Uh, with the new players, what should be the new formation and who would be our super subs? Well, listen, I think we're going to leave that till tomorrow, you know, after the, you know, once the 11 o'clock deadline has passed and we know who exactly who we have. And then we can sort of put a, a start and 11 together as, as if to say, right. A dream team, exactly, uh, mm -hmm. Danielle. Perfect. A dream team. Uh, Bede says, Dean Henderson is an upgrade on Dubravka and would strengthen competition for places. I agree with Baz. Dubravka has been shaky, flapped the crosses this season. Position has been questionable at times as well. Um, interesting. Uh, everybody's going to have a, a kind of <laughs> sort of feeling and, a, and an opinion on this. Uh, Paul, what's your thoughts on the Greenwood stuff? I'm not commenting on it. Um it would be unfair too, to be honest. So I don't think anybody's going to be stupid enough on podcasts to talk about it until um, if if it goes legal. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, good morning, folks from America. Never woke up to you guys live before. Wow. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that waking up and switching on YouTube and seeing us live first thing on the morning when you open your eyes? Poor person. Oh, dear. Save yourself. Well, hang on a minute. Let me finish, let me finish what I was going to say. Let me finish. I was actually going to be kind to you and Danielle there, Jade, but I, as for that backlash, I'm not going to say anything now. <laughs> We're better oh. backlash at each other, Paul. That's mm -hmm. right. Um, Van der Beek going to Everton didn't want to join us because we were in a relegation fight. Hasn't he seen the Premier League table? I know he probably thinks Everton are in the top six, to be honest. <laughs> Uh, Paul, would you travel down to Wolves to give Conor Cody a lift up to Newcastle? If so, would you pay the £6.10? Yes. <laughs> Would you complain about it? No. Uh, Brian says, uh, good afternoon, ladies and gents. Glad we've signed a defender. Just need a good striker now. Um, Derek says, thought a person born north of Newcastle is a Novacastrian. Oh, God almighty. Is this it? Uh, listen, uh, as the... Wow, that is some pair of lungs on that child, Baz. It is, yeah. <laughs> through, through the closed door as well. Yeah. Uh, Dafford says, Imagine that at two o'clock in the morning when it wants milk. <laughs> Did you just call your child it? Yeah. He's tired, man. <laughs> Very tired. When it want it wants milk. Yeah. I mean, but show us this one day. <laughs> just tired. Yeah. She's older. I'm gonna show I tell her you the what, stream. before my kids reach 16, I'm deleting everything I've done. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> the backstory is gone. Oh, there ain't no story to my dad. 
he wasn't alive. <laughs> oh dear. Um, reports from the Independent uh, that we've made an improved bid for Zapata. You you believe that's going to happen, Baz? Don't you? I do. I really do. Especially if Rodriguez allows it, even he ends up over there, and it paves the way for him. And you, you, you did say with one more big surprise, it's his oh, last I'm chance excited. of a big move at his age. <laughs> Uh, does he want to play in the Premier League and does he want to fight and then take us on to the next level next season it's, if we can sell him the dream why not Yeah, he would keep point. us up easily yeah Spudgy says Botman and Carlos now that would be class that well there you go we could play three at the back then with Burn, Botman and Carlos couldn't we oh, really yes. and then just play the rest up front Pass the yeah why not <laughs> Pass when you show me all the tissues, man. And I, feel, I feel violated, man. It's three o'clock on a Sunday afternoon. I, I still think the man's Bot, got no. I think Carlos could happen tomorrow, and Botman will be back in the summer. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, Bradley, big tour. Thanks very much for the Swedish Kroner, I believe. Fifty-five. Loving the show. How are the lads and lasses? Can't wait for tomorrow. Uh, are we all having an early night tonight, guys? Or are we well, no. I'm having an early night as, as much sleep as I can. <laughs> Tomorrow's going to be monumental. Uh, I've just had a I've just had a text message off Susan, who is is modern backstage. She isn't very happy. Uh, can yeah. everybody in the comments stop arguing about who is a Geordie and who isn't? <laughs> Please. We're all Newcastle fans. There we are. We're all Newcastle fans, and we are all fans of Geordies. Therefore, we are all Geordies. Doesn't exactly. matter where in the world you live. I've just exactly. ended so the much, debate right now. So much right? For United. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, if you go back last month to the fan forum, there was a conversation with Dave about this, and if you go and listen to his comments, that will settle the whole score. So yes, exactly. Uh, by the way, I still believe it was him that made my lights go funny last night during the the quiz. Yeah, uh, if anyone saw that, that was freaky. It was very been strange. Labeled an adopted Jordan oh, was my that when you were life, and I'm very screaming. proud of that day is. Yeah, I was Georgia screaming, Jay. Alex. Yes, because the lights kept flickering, and I, it it was rather odd to be it's honest. Really weird. Yeah, uh, but here, ho. Uh, Sky mm-hmm. Bet have apparently stopped taking bets on Botman arriving. Says Bede. Yeah, They've also suspended Lingard. It's all very cute. Oh, it is very sick. interesting, though, isn't it, when the bookies stop taking bets for players coming in? You have to think there's, there's something I'm going to have to go that. and get me drink out the cupboard, aren't I? Yeah, Put well, it in the fridge just yeah. in case. Uh, <laughs> I reckon I should. Yeah. I've got the rosé champagne and some beers ready for tomorrow, for the later night shows, obviously. I was going to but say, I'm let's ready. not drink all day because we won't be able to get our no. words out by six o'clock. <laughs> uh, Jade, you're on at ten o'clock in the morning with me, mine, so just beware. <laughs> <laughs> I will be perfectly sober. I'll have coffee for that one. I'm yeah, well, people. so will I. But, uh, you know, the, the two on the top there are at work till four and five, so they, they can't do the latest shows. So. Don't I worry, I'm doing, doing a schedule. Sexy. I'll be doing a schedule when this is Don't finished. Don't you look a little peaky in the face, love. I know, I feel a bit ill. <laughs> yeah, you're looking a little white. Like, mm-hmm. I feel a bit sick, tonight. to be honest. Uh, you Just don't look yeah. too good, Danielle. Neither does... Uh, uh, I mean, Alex, your beard's going off funny. I think you need a day off work tomorrow, mate. But it is a stressful. <laughs> Tomorrow's tax day for me for Poland and, and it's transfer deadline. It's so oh much. Oh, my goodness. So me. much. Just get yourself a fresh orange, squeeze it on the test. Bob's your uncle. You've got COVID. Have a good day off. I mean, I can't say that to the uh, tax Hang on a minute. Man, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, this is a public <laughs> announcement. <laughs> For legal reasons, please excuse Barry Thomas's comments there. Uh, we, we do not recommend doing that on any scope to get time off work or time off school. Please scratch that from what you've just heard. Thank you very much. Um, anyway, quit before he sacks me if he keeps talking like that. I know, I know, disgrace. Backstage, Barry, we'll sort it out. <laughs> listen, I think tomorrow's just going to be like who can jump on anyone's show, Buzz. It's just like who's available to jump on, and then oh, we all get the link. And if you go on, you worry. go on. We don't need a schedule. We Stop do. being a school teacher. I like being a school teacher when it comes to this. It's good to know who's coming on and who's not coming on. Can you just go live and everyone just send out the link and everyone will just pile on? Yeah, but then you don't yeah. want too many people coming on as well. You want to have it we'll limited to five. Sensible. Why? Why can't p- people who are available come on the shows, Buzz? There's not that many out the two channels, to be honest. Because we all need a rest as well at some point. So we well, don't I, 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 I don't need a rest. I'll be no, fine you won't because you're at work and then you're only coming on for four hours. Oh! <laughs> no, I'll, I'll be on from 4pm until we finish streaming. I'll be about and nice. watching stuff. So that could be... God That's knows more than four hours, Buzz, Buzz, to be fair. You want to read? Have you actually done a schedule? 
I've got uh, when we're going live on what channels, and then I'm getting everybody to tell me when they're available, and we'll put them in the sections. Yeah. Okay. What, I'll if, I'll that, what if people I'll actually then, want to be on Buzz and don't want to take a break? Like Jade, Jade's going to wake up in the morning. Jade, Jade will have want about, a break at I'll some point. I'll be on it all day, yeah. Jade'll have about <laughs> seven cans of Monster before she goes live <laughs> what at about 10 food? o'clock. What about eating? Well, I don't I don't eat. I've got an idea, right? If you're next to a window, just get the delivery guy to <laughs> come to the window. Right? Delivery and if you're upstairs, made for a reason. Just throw some <laughs> rope downstairs, tie it to the rope, pull it up through the window. <laughs> oh, you don't have to move. Hire a commode for the day, so if you need a poo, you just poo. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, you've got to be prepared for these things. You've got to be in it for the long haul, Buzz. You've got to do what's necessary to bring the viewers what they need to see and hear. (laughs) You have to be committed. And if that means wearing man nappies, Barry, that means wearing man nappies. (laughs) By the way, thanks. There you go. Anyway. (laughs) Uh, Love it when the Geordies come home. Shearer, 15 million. Burn, 13 million. Awesome. Uh, maybe Haaland will be the surprise tomorrow. Um, I'd say no on that one. Uh, uh, John Joe says you showed Baza the power there. Um, listen, Baza needs to put in his place every so often, right? Because you know, as Jade will, you know, vouch, you know, he, he, Barry, as the CEO of World of Sport, is a very, very difficult man to work for. Um, and has already threatened Jade numerous times with the sack. Yes. However, she knows there's a contract waiting at the Toon Review because she 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 absolutely thinks the world of Danielle mm. and thinks, you know, that they could strike up a brilliant hosting partnership. So, you know, you have to beware of these things, Barry, when you run a channel to keep your staff happy. I mean, I know I fired all of mine last night, but it quickly... <laughs> um, I, I, I brought them all back on board within a couple so of minutes. That's why my phone was so busy last night. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, swiftly on. Uh, Eddie says, uh, Wood, in my opinion, was a knee jerk to Wilson getting injured. I thought he did okay at Leeds, uh, but we need a bit of quality and pace up front. I uh, Stu says, Our new owners have been class since they arrived. Yeah. I believe yeah. they have as well. Uh-huh. Um, you know, and, and listen, anybody, anybody that. Um, you know, says, oh, you know, that they're not keeping us in the loop long enough. Or and and I heard John, even John Sinclair say that that he had a go at the, uh, the, the, really? the, the, the the need. Yeah, the the owners need to come out and tell us what's happening with the likes of Zapata and stuff like that. And I did no, tell no. John off for that because I thought, Jesus, you know, let's just what happened to the just let's wait until the whole the Newcastle United shirt kind of thing. I know we're we're, we're talking about rumors now and things like that, but. When you involve the owners in tweets and stuff like that, oh, about, that. you know, it, it, it's ridiculous, man. Absolutely, um, hate that. I can't. I can't. It makes me cringe when I see it. Yeah, see him tweeting yeah. the owners. So tell us about this player, and I just leave him alone, man. Let him do the who's, work. Who is the biggest culprit of that as well? Mouth of yeah. the time. Oh, he's appearing on um, Loaded tonight, isn't he? He's on Loaded tonight, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he loves, he he loves to tweet the owners, so. doesn't he? He even tweets them asking about bloody what they're going on in their personal life. It's... Listen, yeah. Ben's all right. Yeah. All right, nah, he's, he's all right. Idiot. Uh, he's an idiot on, on Twitter. He might Have you ever right met him in person, scene. Barry? I don't need to. I wouldn't want him. He's you don't. He's completely different to what he is no. online. Well, you would not expect. He's a lovely, lovely lad. He really is. You should act like that on Twitter as well, then, shouldn't you? Oh, Barry. Barry, honestly. <laughs> Do you know I'm right on that? No! You, you know, know what? You, right. you, you know, people used to call me and Dave Stadler and Waldorf them them grumpy old muppets, right? Well, I tell you what. <sighs> you're like Mr. Flaming. What's his face? Hello, 4291. <laughs> who, who used to... Uh, Victor Meldrew. <laughs> Victor Meldrew, that's him. Four two nine one. Four two nine one. Four two nine one. Four two nine one. Hello. <laughs> ah, honestly, just just disgrace, man. Um, you see what I've got to work with. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, Big Mally says, "Afternoon, guys. I'm fed up with being a Leeds fan, but it's in the blood." Aww. Oh, poor lad. I, don't know. Uh, I feel uh, for you. My DMs uh, are open if you need to talk. <laughs> Oh, he's tiny as well, Jade. Said with oven. so much sentiment there, Jade. Honestly, <laughs> uh, really Mal, I do apologise for Jade. She's one of the most sarcastic <laughs> people you'd ever wish to meet, apart from herself. You can um, imagine the conversation, banter. can't you? Hi, Jade. I'm just I'm messaging you because you said your DMs were open for a conversation, and Jade was like loads of laughing faces. <laughs> <laughs> 
exactly how it would go. Rafinha in a Newcastle shirt, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 If I could, uh, if I could make those, that man, I, I would make so many. Oh, Jimmy, that's a shocking comment. Grief in the owners is a bit like criticizing Peter Sutcliffe on his reverse oh, parking. Um, Darren says, uh, Paul, mate, I'm on your side. Connor Cody would be a fantastic signing. He's a leader on that pitch. We put a £25 million bid in yesterday. Uh, I if we, we did. Nobody if says we it wouldn't be a great signing. We'd just like to no. wind you up with it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it would be a good signing. Yeah. It's a huge signing. More than £25 million, though. Yeah. yeah, but the the, the absolute abuse I took from uh, Toon Review... Uh, colleagues yesterday was disgraceful. It was just memes and laughing faces. It wasn't exactly. It was disgraceful. I went to bed with tears in my eyes. Mm, Tears of joy. Tears of joy in a box of tissues. (laughs) (laughs) Danielle, I love how heartfelt you are towards me on these live shows. It it, it touches. Honestly, it's like somebody stroking my heart. It really is. Anyway. (laughs) Oh, that is just an outrageous thing to say. Jesus! <laughs> I mean, can you believe she just comment. said that? Can, can you can you see why I'm nearly sacked her a few times now? Oh my god! <laughs> you can't sack me. <laughs> I know I can't. <laughs> uh, nine, I'm nine, nine, can I get some comments out? <laughs> yeah. Uh, we are still targeting Henderson, Zapata, Lingard, Botman, Carlos, and one other midfielder. I can't spell his name. I'm so excited if we get Zapata. Looks I'm good. Yeah, Newcastle it. top, doesn't he? I'm going to have to literally take some flexi tomorrow and leave work early. I can't. <laughs> what was that? What was that, Barry? That's Lingard in a Newcastle shirt. <laughs> yeah, but that, who, who makes yeah. those? I would love to know. Somebody with a lot of time on the hands. There's a um, thousand people watching. What if you can you just like make me a couple? There's a couple of players I'd really like, just, just for my own personal enjoyment of life. <laughs> <laughs> Did I really didn't know where you were going with that. <laughs> It could go anywhere. Paul. It's a Sunday anywhere. afternoon. Don't say it can go anywhere either. That's the wrong oh. thing to say. <laughs> this is turning sour. Yeah, it's turning into the horseman, which is on later on at eight o'clock. It is. We try I'll, I'll say I'll save my comments for your comment box on that one. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, we have come to the end of the show, actually, unfortunately. Um, you know, uh, but uh, listen, it's over... Just, a... just getting juicy. <laughs> it was. Yeah, well, that's why you're, you have suddenly a question up, before we finish. Is there oh. anything in that Bamba Dieng link, or was that nonsense? That I think, I can't even know who he plays for. I just wrote him down yesterday. Bamba Dieng, is he playing I've not heard anything. It must no. be wrong, then. Nothing from my HP, anything from your Heinz? Nothing at the minute. No. no. Um, right. We have come to the end of the show today. Uh, thank you very, very much. Um, the the build-up is certainly well on its way now. Um, who is that? Dan Burn? Oh, yes, it is. Is that legit or is that just a Photoshop? Just Photoshop. Yeah. Um, Looks good, though. It does. Uh, we've had over well over eleven hundred and forty watching today, which is another record for the channel. So thank you yeah. very, very much, guys, for all your input. Um, thank you for all your wonderful super chats today and all your comments in the uh, in the conversation. It's been great. Um, if you have enjoyed the show, guys, please don't forget to hit the like button. It does help build the channel. And if you if you're new and you like what you've seen, please do consider subscribing. Uh, you can also become a member of the Tune Review uh, if you just hit the join button. Uh, the link to become a member is also in the description below. Uh, please also go and give World of Sport uh, a subscription as well. Of course, we'll be uh, jumping across between the two channels tomorrow in two hour stints, all the way through from 10 until midnight. Um, so it's going to be an absolutely blistering day. Lots of pot noodles, etc., on the go. Um, Papa you know, it's, it's, me, it's, I think. it's just going to be uh, one of those fantastic days that will live on in the memory for a long time. Uh, we will also can we will I, have a can good laugh. Put, can I interrupt? Can we just say thank you to the mods, please? Yes, thank you. Is that a little dig at me, Danielle? No, no, I've just had a couple of whoppers in the comments today. So oh. thanks to Julie oh. and um, and Thomas for in Chesery for getting rid of them. Thanks very much. Uh, Susan's there as well, you know. But uh, aren't uh, Susan? <laughs> Thank you to my mods. You are beautiful, fantastic people uh, who deserve medals the size of frying pans. You are absolutely brilliant. Uh, thank you to uh, everyone that's come on the panel. Thanks to Danielle, Alex, uh, Barry, and Jade. 
Uh, tomorrow is going to be a really good laugh as well. We will just keep the comedy and entertainment going as well. Uh, that should be fantastic. But please remember to subscribe to both the channels. Tonight, 8 p.m., World of Sport TV, the four horsemen of the tune. It is the retrial uh, of John Sinclair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, got fun, there's a new song as well That's there's amazing. a new song oh is there yeah. there's a new song uh there is also a, a new judge uh baron uh baron von jock mc uh loch ness he will be uh in full flow tonight um i believe he's got some very big ginger eyebrows and a ginger goatee and a scottish hat and there's, there's stop various describing things. us well i know i'm sorry barry um but he's apparently a very angry Scotsman, so I don't think John Sinclair stands much of a chance on trial tonight. But it should be. Listen, if you want a very, very good laugh to end your weekend and look and sort of, sort of laugh your way into the transfer deadline day, if you like, that is going to be a tremendous show tonight to watch if you want to really have a good laugh. So yeah. make sure uh, 8 p.m. It's on World of Sport TV at 8 o'clock and uh, we'll have a good laugh on there. And uh, tomorrow it all starts from 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, on here, the tune review till 12 and then two hour stints on each other's channel all the way up until midnight. It's going to be fantastic. Big shout out to Jordy Riffs for sponsoring the tune review YouTube channel, uh, professional guitar repairs and servicing. Uh, if you are into your guitars, give Graham or Natalie a shout. Uh, you get 10% off your first guitar setup or 10% off your first repair and also your first guitar lesson free. If you just quote them the tune review, uh, their link to the uh, website is down below in the description, but you can also catch them on Facebook and Twitter. Um, Twitter. Right. That is it. Thank you very much for watching, everybody, and we will catch you uh, if hopefully watching The Horseman tonight, and then if not, we'll see you tomorrow for the full day of Deadline Day. What a day it's going to be. Good afternoon, folks. Oh! <laughs>